Hey y'all, it's your girl Tashonda Renee and I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I made this awesome meatloaf. If you would like to see how I do it, please stay tuned. For this meatloaf, I'm using some simple ingredients. I'm going to use two pounds of ground turkey. You can use turkey, beef, chicken, whatever you prefer. I'm also going to use two packs of Lipton onion soup. I'm gonna use some onions and green bell peppers, as well as onion and garlic powder, salt and pepper. I'm gonna use some herbs de Provence, some Italian breadcrumbs, two eggs, and some milk. So to get started putting your meatloaf together, you're gonna need a large mixing bowl. To that, you're gonna add your ground meat, and I'm adding one pack of Lipton onion soup per each pound of meat I use. To that, I'm gonna add the onions and green bell peppers. I'm gonna add one cup of the Italian panko breadcrumbs, about a half cup of ketchup. I'm gonna season it to taste. So I'm gonna use about a teaspoon each of the garlic and onion powder, about a half teaspoon of the Herbs de Provence, a sprinkle or two of salt, and I'm going to use about a half teaspoon of the, the black. black pepper. I also added two large eggs, and I'm going to use about a fourth of a cup of milk. So now you're just gonna mix everything together. You can do it with a spoon if you prefer, but the best way to me is just to get in there with your hands. I used gloves, um, but the best way is to get in there with your hands because you want everything mixed throughout the meat very, very well. You want your meatloaf to be really well seasoned. This is going to be a stuffed meatloaf. So once you have everything mixed together really well, you'll take a couple large spoonfuls and add it to your baking tray. I'm going to bake my meatloaf on a cookie sheet that I've covered in aluminum foil. So once you have that on the baking sheet, you want to go ahead and pat that out. You don't want to pack it too tight, um, but you do want to start to form it into the loaf. And once you've done that, you're gonna go ahead and add your cheese directly on top of this. I'm gonna stuff mine with mozzarella. So I'm just using mozzarella sticks. I've also used cheddar cheese and that's delicious as well. But you can use your favorite cheese. And honestly, it doesn't have to be sticks. You can use sliced cheese. Uh, whichever cheese you choose to use will be fine. Um, so then you're going to add the remaining portion of your meat on top of the cheese and go ahead and form your meatloaf. You just want to be sure the cheese is completely covered. So you're going to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. You're going to bake your meatloaf for approximately 50 to 60 minutes. If it's a turkey meatloaf, you may have to bake it a little longer if it's beef or a little less if it's chicken. But once you have the loaf formed, you're gonna go ahead and add it to the oven uncovered. You do not wanna cover your meatloaf. This is what the meatloaf looks like after baking for about 40 minutes. I went ahead right when the meatloaf had 20 more minutes to cook. I went ahead and pulled it out of the oven because I'm going to add my meatloaf sauce and then put it back into the oven and allow that sauce to get sticky. This meatloaf sauce is very simple and it is awesome. So I'm going to use ketchup, brown sugar, onion powder, garlic powder, a cap full of vinegar, some W sauce, and I'm gonna go ahead and stir that together until everything is combined really well. This sauce is absolutely delicious. It is both sweet and tangy. 
Um, so if you like sweet and tangy sauces, I think you're going to love this, especially for this stuffed meatloaf. It's really, really good. So I'm going to go ahead and completely cover the meatloaf. I'm going to brush the sauce all over the top and around the sides of the meatloaf. And now that I have the meatloaf all covered with the sauce, I'm going to go ahead and add it back to the oven uncovered and allow it to continue to cook for 20 minutes. And this is what it looks like when it comes out of the oven. That sauce is thick and sticky and it's just perfect. Now, when you cut into it, be careful because that cheese is going to be extremely hot. Um, I did allow mine to set for about 10 minutes before I cut into it, and you can see it's still very, very hot. But this meatloaf is absolutely delicious. It's perfectly moist, and um, I believe you're going to love it if you give this recipe a try. If you're interested in a list of the ingredients and measurements of everything I used, check out the description box. I'll be sure to list everything down there. If you have not already done so, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you be a part of my YouTube family. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.